Bill Maher and the rest of them are going too far left. Check this out. Oh, here, here we go. Um, am I? Look at this. Look at this other comment. The forgotten man saying, "Yes, Bill being uh, Bill Bill being nuts is relevant. That's why no one really listens to you, homie. Are you sure, Home, the forgotten man?" The forgotten man, you are the forgotten man. Bill is not the forgotten man. Bill is actually has more views than you could ever dream of, man. Like one of the is look he's, people say that let me see, actually check this here. That's why look at this. He's saying that's why no one really listens to you, homie. Okay? Let's check that. This video got almost a million views. And this is only the the YouTube version of it. It was also on TV. Look at this comment. That's why no one really listens to you, homie. One million views. Yeah. Only at least a million v people. At least. The forgotten man. These people. Again, look at the comebacks. These are the comebacks people have. This is how stupid people are. I now nuts? Does this mean that Bill Maher is going to be voting for Donald Trump? Because newsflash, Joe Biden is a Catholic. Again, these are again. You get Chris. You're also an idiot. So, so this Chris is saying, um, am I now nuts? Does this mean that Bill Maher is going to be voting for Donald Trump? Because newsflash, Joe Biden is a Catholic. Are you? Are you? Fuck! God damn it! Chris is a moron as well. Okay, you you compared it to. Okay, so would Joe Biden be better if he was not a, stupid enough to believe in the Catholic dogma? Of course, it would be better. Of course, it would be better. But then you compare Joe Biden with Trump. Who's the nuttier one? Who's the nuttier one? Of course it's Donald Trump. You guys cannot, like, guys, like, this is black and white thinking. If you call out, if you think that the Catholic doctrine and believing in it is nutty, what, does that mean now that is, like, anybody who believes in it is, like, the worst thing ever? No, of course you... T you 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 put that as a factor. You evaluate that, and you compare it to many other things. Again, Biden doesn't really take the Catholic doctrine as seriously as somebody like Amy. How how simple this is. How can people get not get this? Would it would it have been an improvement if he didn't take it seriously at all? Of course, it would have been. But are you going to completely dismiss a person because they're somewhat nutty rather than completely nutty? No, you're gonna be like, yeah, I'll take, I'll take the some person that just uh, is a little bit nutty over the person that is full on nutty. These people are not. That I find particularly funny. Holly Green. Yeah, because you're an idiot, Tim. Tim Pool, because you're a moron. Green says Bill Maher, you're a disgusting person. ACB confirmation. Calling ACB is a, is a effing nut. Wait, the, hey. Aren't, aren't these people are hypocrites? Well, why, why do you think he's a disgusting person? Do you think he has nutty views? Then you guys are doing the same thing. Honestly, I think I think he went uh, uh, too far in calling her a nut. I really, really, uh, really do not like. That. Really, 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 uh, really do not like what Bill Ma like. Why did he think it too, went too far? He's just calling a spade a spade. Yeah. I grew up Catholic uh, briefly. I'm not a fan of the church. I'm not a fan of organized religion. Yeah, because they're nutty. But I'm a fan of religious freedom and respecting people's worldviews. There it is, people. There is it. There it is. Look, look at this. This is the moronic take that most people have in the comment section. Look at in the comment section. When you call religious stupid, people come like, don't, uh, no, that's going too far. That's going too far. You're calling religious stupid. I, I'm a fan of religious freedom. What does one have to do with the other? If I call religion stupid, does that mean that I'm not in favor of religious freedom? Newsflash, you're free to be an idiot. Nobody's arguing that you shouldn't have religious freedom. Nobody's arguing that you shouldn't be free to be a moron. You get to be a moron. Nobody is making that illegal. Us calling it out as moronic does not violate anyone's freedom of religion.
but I'm a fan of religious freedom and respecting people's worldviews. You know, I respecting people's worldviews. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Do you want to take that? Do you want to look at? Do you know how? Where I could take that? Do you know how? What that's going to lead to? You want to respect people's worldviews? Are you sure? Hmm. But are you sure? What about the Taliban's worldviews? Do you want to respect that? Not not the Taliban worldviews. Okay, then there's some criteria about the views you respect. Okay, then what's the criteria? Oh, okay, so now we're okay with having criteria over what views we respect. Either you respect all views, or all worldviews, or you have a criteria. And if you have a criteria, then what's wrong with other people having a criteria over which worldviews they respect? You see where that goes? You see how you're a moron, Temple? I had this conversation last night when we were on the IRL podcast, and I said something. It's, it's, let me explain. I, I believe in free speech. I Again, I believe in free speech. These people, you call their ideas nutty, and people, they talk about free speech. They, they, they think when you, they, they think like you cast, you call them nutty, and all of a sudden, oh, their, their, their lips get sealed. They can't talk anymore. They're like, oh, my freedom of speech was violated because you called my views nutty. And this is from a person that has an entire channel dedicated to calling out people's ideas that they doesn't like. Wait, what happened to their free speech, hey? Temple, like you're calling Bill Maher. Oh, look at this. You're calling out Bill Maher. You disagree with Bill Maher here. So what's happening? What happened to Bill Maher's free speech? I do not believe all speech is good. I believe some speech is really bad. I just don't trust anybody to be the arbiter of what speech is right or wrong. That, well, again, these people don't understand free speech. Okay, then if you believe in free speech, then other people get to call your ideas nutty. That's also part of free speech. So I'd rather just have free speech for everybody. Yeah, and people calling you, Tim, people calling you a moron, that doesn't violate your free speech. What does this got to do with Bill Maher calling somebody a nut? The same is true for religion. I'm not a fan of organized religion, and I myself am not in, into any organized religion or theistic dogma or anything like that. Though I don't consider myself an atheist, I do believe in God. That's because you're a moron! I think... There's probably there, there are many people who think they know, and I don't trust any of them to be in charge because you get one religion lording over another. And then ah, I just don't want to have that happen, which means it has nothing to do with Bill Maher calling somebody some ideas or not. Nothing to do. Literally has nothing to do. And look at this. This is a guy with a million subscribers. He's supposed to be like a warrior of free speech, and he doesn't even understand the basic. He, he has a he, he has the less than basic understanding of what free speech is. He doesn't even, even the, some of the dumbest people have gotten this point and Temple with 1 million subscribers and 200,000 views on this one video. And all of these idiots who are liking this and subscribe to him, they love, they, look at how many idiots exist in the world. This is their free speech champion, somebody who doesn't understand what free speech even means. Amazing, amazing. means I, I have to accept that I may disagree with someone and not see the world the way they do, but I have to respect their right to practice their religion. Nobody is arguing otherwise. You moron. You got that moron. Nobody's saying that. Did, did Bill Maher say like, hey, let's make, let's make practice like, oh yeah, shut down the Catholic churches. Let, let them find the Catholics. Don't let them pray. Don't let them express their, their dogma. Don't let them preach their Bible. Did, did that happen, Temple? Did anybody say that? And be who they are.